This is Hans Guerin with the Schuler School of Fine Arts. Here's a quick a la prima, about two hours. Very rapid fire painting. You'll notice in the beginning that uh, it goes from charcoal to a little bit into the painting. I thought the camera was recording and it wasn't, so technical difficulties, but you ought to be able to discern the way I block it in based on the oranges. So here's uh, just squinting and putting in lights and darks mostly, um, only what I see when I squint in the color that I see. I try to trust that and keep moving forward. Um, everything that's important is there on the squinting. Everything that goes beyond that is bonus or wrong. You know, so um, I paint what I see when I squint, I trust it, and then if those values are very close or if not right, then working into it will be easy because it'll already be in the context of value and color and it's just a tweak. So you'll see me just keep moving from the simple version of the orange to the next one to the next one and then you'll see me just develop it a tiny bit. This is a quick painting so I don't develop it in tight detail um, but enough to give an impression. Uh, in this case the uh, the reflected light was bold enough to be able to see when I squint. A lot of times it's just simply a mid-tone of dark and a mid-tone of light. And that's what squinting will do for it. It'll just get the simplest version possible. The minor variations all melt into one. So here's that impression of the textured highlight and now it's into the reflections of the white cloth into the metal and to the oranges reflecting into the metal. They have to be lesser version than the original, lesser intensity than the original, so I like to have the original first. So here it is, grayer version, browner colors. Don't really worry about edges early on. Um, if there's some hard edges that are still enduring to this point, it's only because I can work an edge, you know, later. Right now I'm still making decisions, so I want to keep moving forward and things that um, really impact the painting. At the end, the edges will impact it, but it's something I can come back and do. If my values are working, the shapes are working, the composition's working, then uh, just coming back in and, and softening edges is easy, especially wet in the wet. So here's the spout and the handle. Those were important shapes, but they were more intricate, so I put them off till later. Um, I wanted to get the bigger shapes first, and you know the, these smaller shapes aren't going to bail it out if the big shapes don't work. So again, priority to most important to least important. So next I'm going to enhance some of the brightness of the highlight and the, the top plane. And then really just kind of piece it together. I'll pull together the background, I'll develop that front plane of the cloth, and um, call it quits because I gave myself a two hour time limit and I stuck to it. I highly recommend this for everybody. This is your big time practice and you might even get a painting out of it. You can develop your quick ability to discern light from shadow, have a consistent light source, get your colors, color mixing. Uh, you get more opportunities to experiment with sheen and texture and uh, transparency and reflection uh, just by rapid composition, rapid painting, rapid painting and you just experiment with each one. I highly recommend this. Uh, take some progress shots along the way. It doesn't have to be a movie like this. Um, but this is your skill builder. This is how you get good. And then you'll have these skills to develop into a longer, slower painting. But all these skills will just make the process more efficient. And I'll say it better. Um, you can also develop your style and even experiment with these, these quick paintings. 
with one really detailed painting that you've spent forever on, you can get a really nice product out of, but you don't learn as much. So I, I think Alla Prima ought to be a part of your repertoire. So here it is, the final product. Uh, if I do a second sitting, which I, I'd like to, I'll record it and post it too. But practice, do a lot of these, and um, you'll find that your skills for the larger paintings will go much more smoothly. The end.